Hey, Joe here from Home Studio Corner. Don't talk a lot about this, but live streaming, specifically live video streaming, is a big opportunity for us home studio folks. Internet speeds are fast enough to support high quality both video and audio streaming, and we've got the tools to capture really good sound. See, a lot of folks, if you go to these live streaming websites or just folks doing a lot of streaming on YouTube, the, the audio quality is not great. They may have a USB microphone or they may be using the built-in mic on their laptop. So the audio is a big limiting factor to how good they sound. And you and I have an opportunity there to really set ourselves apart to have a great sounding audio piece to the live stream bit. So I'm shooting this the morning after I did my first uh, live stream concert that I've done in a while. Oh boy. Yeah, comfy, comfy. We bow down to you. Hopefully gonna do a bunch of these over the next few months, so keep an eye out for those. But a lot of you are asking about the setup and how I do it, so I'm gonna go over that today. Now this will change because I'm, I've got some ideas already of things I might wanna try, but this is what I did last night and I'll show it to you now. So this is where I played. You can see uh, I got a chair there, two guitars, and a single microphone. So I used the Roswell, the Mini K47 that I talk about a whole lot. I used this one to record both my vocal and my guitar. So I had it placed kind of just in front of me, somewhat between my voice and the guitar. And then on the live stream, I asked the folks, because there's a lot of audio folks there, if there were any balance issues. And of course they told me and I was able to fix it. But um, I wanted to show you basically two signal paths for the live stream, because you got audio and you got video. So let's start with video and then I'll come back and show you the audio. So everything video wise started here. This is just a little USB webcam. I think it's maybe when I bought it was $100 or so, a Logitech C something. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. This is my camera. Because the thing is, unless you're gonna go with a really expensive capture system that'll capture something from this camera that I'm holding right now, like th this camera, it, it, it typically just a USB webcam is the way to go. A lot of webcams on computers work fine, like my laptop, my MacBook Air, has a really nice webcam on it. My iMac Studio computers, not great. Also, I wanted to get a shot with the studio behind me as opposed to from over there facing this way. So this webcam works, works for that as well. Really long USB extension cable and this sitting on a music stand and that that's my video. So that's running on a little USB cable out behind the computer back into the iMac. Now, once it gets into the computer, here's where it goes. I use a piece of software called Wirecast Play. This is, I believe, a free or $10 piece of software, <laughs> hi Joe, that works with um, YouTube Live for live streaming. So Wirecast Play, it, there's a $500 version of Wirecast that you can buy. This is the cheap or free version that allows you to stream directly to YouTube only. And it works great. I can set up that webcam as one of the camera inputs here, turn it on, great to go. So that's literally all it takes for doing the video. That webcam, make sure I select it here, and we're good. Now let's talk about audio. I showed you already that we're using the Mini K47. That is plugged into this uh, XLR patch bay. It's that left cable. That patch bay is wired into channel three on my board. And channel three has a couple of cool toys on it. I've got this LA-2A on there to kind of just tighten things up a little bit. And then I've got this Neve EQ. Had to take out some upper mids, it was a little harsh. Tamed the low end a little bit. And then that is all running into, so through the mixer, main output of the mixer is running into this piece of software here, which is called Audio Hijack. Audio Hijack takes the inputs from the Studio Live, which is a dedicated stereo pair of inputs, that is my main mix, and it runs it to Soundflower, which is a two-channel driver. And then over here in Wirecast Play, when I'm setting up my shot, like for this camera shot right here, I set the audio input to Soundflower two-channel. So now I'm getting the mix off my board going to Wirecast, the USB webcam going to Wirecast, those two mesh together, and it streams up to my YouTube channel. So that's, that's it, that's the simplicity of this system. As you can imagine, you can add more microphones. I can run 
24 mics if I wanted to, I could mix them all through the board and then have that full mix streaming up to the streaming software. So that is my live stream setup. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. I will try to answer those and I'll leave a link to the webcam as well. So you can check that out if you want to add it to your setup. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, if you like mixing and all of that entails and you haven't checked out my five-step mix guide yet, should be a link right here. Go check it out. It'll give you a five-step process that you can lay on top of your mixes to give you more focus, help you get better mixes in less time. You'll have better mixes by the weekend if you apply just a few things that you learn in there. Go check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. But the truth was always the same. If I want it, I got to give it